Hello and welcome to Turner Time Tutorials. This video is on how to reset your iPad to factory settings. Most of the time you can fix any minimal performance issues on your iPad by turning it off and restarting it. In some cases you may need to reset the iPad to factory settings. You're going to want to back up your iPad before resetting. Let's talk about backup. So let's go into settings, tap iCloud, and I'm going to tap storage and backup. I have my iCloud backup on, which means that my iCloud regularly backs up on a daily basis when I'm plugged into a power source and I have a Wi-Fi internet connection. So it shows me that my last backup was last night when I was charging my iPad. You can also tap backup now to ensure that you have a most recent backup of your iPad. If you don't use iCloud, you're going to want to plug your iPad into your laptop or computer and use iTunes to get a proper backup. Besides performance issues, there are a couple other reasons that you may want to reset your iPad to factory settings. If you're giving your laptop to someone as a hand-me-down or selling it, you don't want to sell it with the personal information on it. Or if you're taking it for repairs, you may not want that personal information accessible. So now let's talk about resetting. We're going to stay inside of settings and we are going to tap general. Now we're going to scroll down to the bottom of the page and we're going to tap reset. Now you'll see we have several different choices. Reset all settings, erase all content and settings, and then several other choices down at the bottom. Erase all content and settings is the choice that you're going to want to choose. So tap that and follow the on-screen prompts. It's pretty quick to reset your iPad. It'll only take a couple minutes. And when it's done resetting, the screen is going to show like you just bought it and it's brand new. So it's going to ask you to set your language and your country and choose a few different settings and then agree to the terms and conditions. And you'll see a progress bar as you go through these steps. And then your pre-installed apps will be installed first, like Notes and FaceTime and all those other apps. And then you'll see a page full of your other applications waiting to be loaded. When the restore process is complete, your device will restart. And then you should probably connect to iTunes to sync any of the data that wasn't contained in your backup, like music, videos, and other apps. So it's, it's pretty easy to reset your iPad. You just want to make sure that you have a competent backup before you begin. If you have any questions, please email info at getturnertime.com. Thanks for watching. Have a productive day.